Hello guys, welcome to another video in this series of tutorial on React JS. As we know, CSS is used for styling our applications, defining the layout of websites, and if you want to colorize the fonts or add different fonts, or if you want to add animations, or for a lot of things we use the CSS in our websites. In React, there are several ways to add CSS styles to components. Out of these different methods, in this video we will learn inline styling in React application. In this method, you can add inline styles to React component using the style attribute. This involves adding a JavaScript object with CSS properties and values as key value pairs. Let's see this one in practical. For that, let's open the code editor first. Here I have a dedicated component for this example and I have added this component in React application's main file that is app.js file by importing this one and then using the open and close tags. And if you observe in our component currently we have only one text that is header one which we are returning it. If you preview this one before adding CSS styles to this component you can observe we have a content as we have used header 1 the font size of this sentence is bigger here let's go back to editor to apply css for this jsx elements in our component using inline method in react you can go to that particular tag within that tag add a property by name style is equals to and here we need to add double open and close braces and within these curly braces we can mention the CSS properties whichever we want to apply to our JSX elements. In this example let's add one simple CSS style element that is background color and to apply different background color add colon and after colon you can mention the color which you want to apply as a background to this sentence. Here you can note that CSS property which we have written here it is a bit different than normal CSS. In normal CSS we write properties with hyphen separated. But here in React's JSX elements it will be in camel case which means as you can see in this example background colors B is in small letter and C is in capital letter. Suppose if we write the same property in normal CSS, it would be like background hyphen color as you can see here. So now successfully we have written our first CSS code in React.js JSX element. Save this file and go back to browser to preview this one. And here you can observe red color background is applied to text. This is the simplest way of adding CSS code in React.js JSX template. Suppose if there is a requirement to add one or two properties to the JSX element, this method works fine. But most of the times in real-time application development, you need to add more number of CSS styles to the text, images or any multimedia elements. In that case, you can use another method of inline styling in our React.js applications. That is, you can create a variable within a functional component and use that constant within this style elements. So let's see that one as well here. Let's go back to our core data. Within this functional component, let's create a constant by name styles. And we need to use constant keyword for this variable. And for this variable, let's define the same property which we have defined here. So let's cut this one and add within this variable. Currently in this example, we have added only one CSS property here. If you want to add more CSS property, you can add comma after the first property. Then you can define another property similar to this one and you can define the property within this variable. Next step is we need to use this constant variable in our JSX elements wherever it is required. In the previous example we have added inline style here within these two set of curly braces 
as we have defined a variable here now we don't need two set of curly braces instead of that one we need only one set of curly braces and within this one we need to mention the variable which we have created just now that's it what you need to do to apply css styles using this inline method by creating a variable now save the file react js application successfully recompiled now let's go back to browser to preview this one now you can see the red color background is applied to our text and the font size is also increased as we have defined 100 pixel for this one these are the two simple methods of adding css styles using inline method in react js application based on your requirement you can add more css styles in this application so if there are many number of css styles which you want to define for your application you can make use of this variable and add any number of css styles here so that's it guys for this video thanks for watching this if you like this video please click on like button share it with others and subscribe to my channel